Earthquakes are one of the most treacherous natural disasters. They usually arrive without warning. Here are 10 of the biggest earthquakes ever recorded. Number 10, 2005 Northern Sumatra Earthquake. On the 28th of March, 2005, a few months after the horrific Indian Ocean earthquake, Sumatra, Indonesia felt its second most destructive earthquake since 1900. A terrifying 8.6 magnitude earthquake centered near the Great Sumatran Fault shook the entire island of Sumatra and affected areas as far away as Bangkok, over 600 miles away. Now, what does an 8.6 magnitude earthquake mean? The Richter scale measures an earthquake's power. It's a logarithmic function, which means that there is no upper limit. For example, an earthquake measuring magnitude 9 is 10 times more powerful than an earthquake measuring 8. For practical purposes, it would be impossible to get an earthquake higher than 10 on the scale. That would happen if every fault along the Pacific Rim simultaneously ruptured. In Sumatra, the nearby areas were almost completely destroyed and inhabitants fled in panic to escape the tsunami that followed. Luckily, the induced tsunami was not as fatal as the one from the preceding December. Though the exact death toll is not clear, in Gunung Sitoli and Teluk Dalam alone, many house shops collapsed and killed around a thousand people while they were either sleeping or trying to run from the second and third floors. Be sure to watch the video till the end to learn more about the 2004 Indian Ocean earthquake and tsunami. Number nine. 1950 Assam, Tibet earthquake. August the 15th, 1950 was India's third anniversary of independence. People all over India were ready to celebrate their Independence Day. So was the case in the most remote northeastern Assam Valley and the majestic mountains surrounding it. But what happened afterward was truly horrific. Centered at Rima, Tibet, this megathrust earthquake measured a monumental 8.6 magnitude claiming over 4,800 lives throughout the border region of India, East Pakistan, Burma, and China. Assam was impacted heavily, too heavily in fact. In addition to the extreme shaking, there were floods when the rivers rose high after the earthquake, bringing down sand, mud, trees, and all kinds of debris. Pilots flying over the mesoseismal area reported great changes in topography, which was largely due to enormous landslides. Till this day, that earthquake remains the largest ever recorded not to have been caused by oceanic subduction, but by two continental plates colliding. Number eight, 1965 Rat Islands earthquake. On February 4, 1965, an 8.7 magnitude earthquake occurred in the Aleutian megathrust in the Rat Islands region of Alaska. The earthquake caused a tsunami that was recorded widely across the Pacific. The tremendous amount of energy involved in an impact of this magnitude could only cause minor flooding damage from Amchitka and Shemya, where wave heights were reported to have reached 30 to 35 feet along the southern shore of the island. Despite being one of the largest earthquakes to ever hit the United States, it only caused about $10,000 worth of damage. Number seven, 2010 Chile earthquake. On February 27, 2010, a magnitude 8.8 .8 submarine earthquake shook the entire Chilean coastal region, Maule, for 18 long seconds. The devastating result, 523 dead and many coastal towns demolished. The city of Concepcion took the worst hit. It was shattered almost completely. The earthquake, however, lifted the coastline by more than two meters, drastically reducing the risk of tsunami. Being one of the most recent ones on this list, massive amounts of footage of this catastrophic event can be found online, showing us just how horrific this disaster was. Number six, Ecuador, Colombia earthquake. One of the largest earthquakes ever recorded, the 1906 Ecuador, Colombia earthquake occurred on January 31st off the coast of Ecuador, near Esmeraldas. What is so different about a big earthquake is that once it begins, it does not stop. Having a savage magnitude of 8.8, .8, the amount of energy released by the earthquake was so intense, it triggered a destructive tsunami that caused at least 500 casualties on the coast of Colombia. 
the tsunami propagated across the Pacific Ocean, and its waveforms were even observed all along the coast of Central America. They extended as far north as San Francisco and west to Japan. After people calmed down, they began to rebuild, only to be terrorized again by the series of earthquakes that followed after, the deadliest one in 1987, which claimed over a thousand lives. Number 5, 1952 Kamchatka Earthquake. November 4th, 1952, Kamchatka, a peninsula far east of Russia, was rocked by a magnitude 9.0 earthquake. Suburbs close to this area suffered tremendous damage, primarily owing to a massive Pacific-wide tsunami triggered by the earthquake. The tsunami waves struck the Kamchatka Peninsula, the Kuril Islands, and other areas of Russia's Far East, and caused considerable damage and loss of life. Hundreds of homes were thrown off their foundations, and small communities were ripped apart, turning happy neighborhoods into graveyards. There were three waves, each about 15 to 18 meters high. After the earthquake, the majority of the Severokurilsk citizens rushed to the surrounding hills where they escaped the first wave. When most of them returned to witness the degree of devastation, they were met by the second wave. The third wave was minor. 2,336 out of a population of 6,000 people died due to the destructive nature of this earthquake. The survivors were evacuated to continental Russia. The entire settlement was later rebuilt in another location. Number 4. Tohoku Earthquake and Tsunami Japan is infamous for the sheer number of earthquakes and tsunamis that arrive on its coast. Owing to what we call the Pacific Ring of Fire, a continuous fracture along the Earth's crust which circles the Pacific Ocean, making it one of the most volatile regions on our planet. On March 11, 2011, one section of this ring erupted, creating one of the most destructive earthquakes in all of human history. The lethal quake, measuring at a magnitude 9.1 at its strongest, triggered a devastating tsunami off northeastern Japan. The tsunami's waves were observed to be over 130 feet, making it one of the largest tsunamis ever documented. These two disasters combined ripped apart physical structures like no other, leaving some 18,500 people dead. Even more damaging, the quake crippled the Fukushima nuclear power plant, resulting in the world's worst atomic disaster in more than 25 years. Number three on the list of largest earthquakes ever recorded is the 2004 Indian Ocean earthquake, which released more energy than 1,500 times that of the Hiroshima atomic bomb. This undersea mega thrust quake recorded a magnitude 9.1 to 9.3, created a tsunami that reached heights of around 100 feet high in some places, smashing coastal areas in over 14 countries. The disaster claimed the lives of over 230,000 people, making it one of the most horrific natural disasters in history and the deadliest natural disaster of this century. Severe aftershocks continued for several months, resulting in the worst series of quakes ever experienced in South Asia. Number 2, 1964 Alaska Earthquake The second largest earthquake ever recorded is the 1964 Alaskan Earthquake, which measured at an astonishing magnitude 9.2 on the Richter scale. Like other big earthquakes, this too lasted extensively, shaking the region for 4 minutes and 38 seconds straight. Hundreds of multi-story buildings disintegrated into rubble, and thousands of others were severely damaged, accounting for over $300 million worth of damage at the time. It did, in fact, create a tsunami of its own, responsible for the majority of the 139 death toll. A relatively small number for a quake of this magnitude due to low population density, the time of day, and the fact that it was a holiday, and the type of material used to construct many buildings, which is wood. It is quite possible that as many as 300 actually perished, because there have to have been many who were not accounted for. Some of these earthquakes are unfathomable, but there's still one left. But first, if you like this video, 
click subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and speak up in the comments below. Can science do anything to help us? Will we ever be able to predict these massive and terrifying quakes? Number one, Great Chilean Earthquake. On May 22nd, 1960, Chile recorded an earthquake of magnitude 9.5. To put that in perspective, an earthquake of this magnitude releases as much energy as 67,000 Hiroshima bombs. However, it was not the worst earthquake ever, but it was the worst ever recorded. For the very first time, the quake's tremendous power and reach were picked up by sensors newly placed around the globe to monitor Cold War nuclear testing by the United States. The devastating quake shook Chile for 11 horrifying minutes and sent shockwaves around the world, triggering destructive tsunamis that swept across the Pacific from the Philippines to California. Multiple building collapses throughout the region took place. Entire towns and cities were wiped off the map. This earthquake happened along the Nazca and South American tectonic plates, which are extremely active. The Nazca plate is subducting below the South American plate at a rate of 80 to 100 millimeters per year. Most of the footage that exists of this massive earthquake shows only the aftermath, but we could all imagine how torturous the event must have been. Though the exact death toll from this widespread disaster is not certain, the total number of fatalities from the earthquake and tsunamis are estimated to be anywhere from 1,000 to 7,000.